Hello, this is Doug Brook at North Star DHI Services. Today we're going to be taking a look at somatic cell count scores and looking at the chronic and new infection cows from the most current test day. So what we're going to do today is take a look at the cow graphs up there in the upper right part of PCDAR. We're going to be looking at previous versus current somatic cell count scores. Each one of these dots is a cow in the scatter graph. If I wanted to see who a cow was up here, I can get my mouse pointer there. Click, it'll show me who that cow is. If I actually double click, it can take me to her cow page. I can look at the test day information and find out what her somatic cell count actual readings are. To make this graph important, I need to uncheck the show line. That's a regression line that doesn't really play into looking at chronic and new infection somatic cell counts, but I do need to put in crosshairs. I'll move these crosshairs to a linear score 4 and 4 so that these cows up here in this quadrant are chronic mastitis cows being somatic cell counts above linear score of 4 both this month and last month. Cows in this quadrant are new infections where they are high infections above four linear score this month and they were below linear score last month. Down here in the bottom right it tells me the percent of cows that are in each one of those quadrants. This particular herd today 11% of the cows are chronic mastitis cows. If things are moving along really well you would be looking at 5% of the cows chronic, 5% or less. 5% or less of the cows would be new infections and cured cows are down in this quadrant. That'd be 5% or less. Once I know that there are cows in my scatter graph, I want to be able to create a user report in PCDART that will bring just those chronic and new infection cows on a list. I have already created one that's called Chronic and New Infections. So I have given it a title which says Chronic and New Infections. I'm going to list database items uh, across the top of the report for index, days in milk, lactation number, current milk, current fat, current protein, current previous and somatic cell count. I've got a reason on the report and also a repro code so I know whether these cows are pregnant or not. To make this list useful to me I do have to have filters. So I'm using current somatic cell count of 4.0 or higher, previous somatic cell count 4 or 4.0 or higher. That will give me those cows that are chronic mastitis cows on this last test day. If I use the current and previous somatic cell count score 4.0 or higher for current and 0 to 4.0 for previous, those are my new infection cows. So once I go ahead and have created this report with these filters, I will now have my list of cows that are both chronic and new infection cows. It will give me a days in milk. It will give me my actual somatic cell count and previous somatic cell count. Actual, that's times 1,000. So that's listed here on this particular report. If I want to see this report in a little bit different format, once I save it, I can go ahead and view it in grid and I can sort by any one of these column headings so I have now all my chronic cows on the top of the list, all my new infection cows on the bottom of the list. If I were to go ahead and click on help and open PC Dart help, I want to know what the uh, linear score and actual cell counts are so I can see what the relationship is. I would go over here and choose in the PC Dart help glossary. I would look at S and I would have a list of linear scores with the somatic cell count actual range times a thousand for each one of those linear scores. Midpoint as you go up in one linear score actually is doubled and you could see that if you would go ahead and do the math. There's a way to find out what those somatic cell count scores are and how they relate to the actual somatic cell count. This is Doug Brook. You may contact me at my office phone, 1-800-471-3045, or my cell phone at 517-281-8547, or you may email me at brookd at northstarcooperative.com. Thank you.